We're back with Judge Joe Brown. The defendant in this case describes her niece as a wild teen who didn't make curfew, damaged her property, and was disrespectful. She claims the plaintiff took advantage of her, but the judge suggests it may be the other way around. Let's take a look. So you got the check that's sent to right. you and I that you were supposed to disperse to her. Well, no, that's why you no, got taken to I court. I was not Because she to said you her. couldn't properly account well, for the incorrect. funds. It's incorrect. Ten years her sister had her. Not once that's did she question That's not what her. we're here for. Okay. We're here for Only, a title. Exactly. And the title was, um, was acquired when she went, like she said, yes, she did purchase it for 2000 not 22 okay? And I was there with her in the time of a stressful period of me needing to move. You needing to move? What yes, the hell's this got to me. do with you? She was living this with me. This is her car. She was and living what's that got with to do me. with you? It has everything to do with me because she was living with me. And, and you were getting paid healthy. for it. No, I was not. By September, that had stopped. Lady. No, it did not happen. Oh, you tread on very thin no, ice. No, you, you, you don't know what you're talking about, okay? Because you were not there, you have no knowledge of what went on, okay? <laughs> All you have is a statement of a fool over here, so you're incorrect at what you're saying. You were not there. Now, okay. your contention in your answer is that she is wrong because you applied to the state to have her made your caregiver for which she was supposed to be compensated. You I say that. that you had one of her other relatives provide the caregiving, exactly. and what I'm looking at is it does not appear she's received any of the benefits of this caregiver status, and somebody right. seems to have taken the money the state of California paid out. Keep talking. Okay, you don't know what you're talking about. You're totally Come on, big mouth. Okay. Well, it makes you feel good to say that, okay? No, I'm correct. trying to egg you on to, dis to, to, to divulge to more evidence mm -hmm. to be used There's against no you in a criminal prosecution. A you ain't gonna prosecute me. I'm not even concerned. Okay, the bottom line is you don't know what you're talking about. Okay? Where you don't know is what you're the about. car now? It's in Sacramento. Why is it confiscated impound because your son was driving uh, it? Who, by the way, didn't appear to have an operator's license anyway true. when they that pulled him true. over and the vehicle yeah, was impounded and towed. See, you're a big mouth no, liar it's, anyway. It's a lie. You don't know what you're talking about. You're a liar. Okay. It's, it's incorrect and it's all a lie. Okay. I you. think maybe somebody liar, needs to investigate to you. Oh, and if you walk out of here, you're subject to criminal penalties. Okay. That's $500 assessment. <laughs> now, I have a problem here. And here's what the problem is. It looks like the state of California has confiscated that vehicle because your cousin, her son, was driving the thing. It was impounded. I'll see to it that you get it restored to you. Okay, thank you. Young lady, don't lose faith in yourself. Sometimes your relatives are your worst friends, and it looks like your mother and your aunt have a lot in common. Your recovery will be 2,229 in actual damages, 2,771 in punitive. Thank you, Your Honor. You're welcome. That's your award as indicated. The defendant tried her best to be the victim here, but it's tough to top the road the plaintiff's been down. It sounds like she's trying to rise above a pretty difficult childhood. She wins. Now, on to the next case.